What's up everybody, it's your girl Troy. I am back with another Sims 4 tutorial. Today I'm showing you guys how to batch fix your CC. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Riding along, just singing a song Barreling through the snow Bells are too Alright guys, so what batch fixing does, it fixes your broken CC in your game. This does not include your script mod, so we're going to take all that out. This includes maybe sofas, mirrors, light fixtures, beds, furniture, cast items, things like that. So what happened with the new uh, Sims 4 Cats and Dogs update? A lot of CC sofas and beds were broken. And that's because cats and dolls can jump on furniture. So what the Sims 4 Studio did is they took whatever changes the game made and then they crossed it over into the program to where all you have to do is just run the CC through the program during batch fixes and then it will allow your CC furniture to be able to have cats and dogs on them to jump on them because you already have it. It didn't have that code or whatever in it. So it wasn't really modified for cats and dogs. So... Hopefully that makes sense. If you're new to my channel and you're new to this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have more tutorials and I have more how-tos for The Sims 4. And like this video because you're already going to know it's going to like it. So, once you have The Sims 4 Studio installed, link in the description box before, below, before, what? I don't know what's going on. I have wishes because I am on PC. If you are a Mac user, there's also a version for you. And I'm on 3.1.0.5. I'm going to go into Tools. And then I'm going to go down to batch fixing and then I'm going to choose what I want to batch fix. So there is multiple, a lot of options you can choose from, but we're going to focus just on the pets, cats, and dogs. So you'll go to update cast CC pets packs if you want your cast items. If you want your objects, you can go to fix objects for cats and dogs patch and you have your miscellaneous. I don't really use miscellaneous, so we're going to just focus on object and cast. So like I said, you have your objects. If you have lights, you can go ahead and run your fix your lights if you can. If you have mirrors, sometimes your mirrors, you have everything in them and just don't work. So you can try and do it in batch fix for your mirrors. Like I said, pets, cats, and dogs. And what we're going to choose fixed objects for cats and dogs patch. Now, most of my stuff is already fixed, but some of them may have, you know, not done it. So what this is going to do, Sims 4 Studio actually goes ahead and connects with your Sims 4 game. That way it knows where it's pulling it from. So you're going to choose your mods folder. All right, it's going to already have your mods folder up. Whatever you have named it in your game, probably just mods like I have. And then you'll have a backup folder which is going to tell you where you're going to put the backup files for it. All right. So all you, so you have your, if you have, if you're like going through your CC, something like that, and you have pulled out your mods folder and you want to keep certain CC, you just want to fix those and put in your game, make sure you have the correct version will the correct mods folder selected i took up my entire mods folder and i just modified what i wanted kept what i wanted just to like reorganize everything and then i just had this to the mods folder on my desktop but my mods folder is in my game it's where i want it to be so i'm gonna go ahead and just click run now depending on how much cc you have this could take all day so once you click run be sure to go do something else so you can let it run all right so i probably don't have that much cc to maybe fix you never know i've put in more cc in my game this is fixing objects so we're gonna see how long it's gonna take probably not gonna take that long it really depends so you guys can go ahead and do whatever you want to do and we'll come back once this is done okay guys so my batch fixing is done for my objects and you'll get this window pop up for your results fix zero well it'll tell you how many you fixed how much it was unable to fix and then it will say no fix needed which is 2145 so that means all of the new stuff i put into my game recently or last week is already you know it doesn't need to be fixed so you're going to click OK. Usually it will pop open the backup folder. And then what you do with the backup folder. I'm going to show you guys what the backup folder is. Sims 4 Studio. And then you're going to go to Batch Fixes. And then it's, it's going to keep a log of all your batch fixes. So what your backup folder does, you don't have to back up your mods folder when you're batch fixing. However, you should in general because you never know. But actually Sims 4 Studio backs up your mods folder for you. So whatever it fixed itself, whatever it fixed, it will back up the original file. All right. So here you go. So you have, I have all this Christmas stuff in here, all these beds in here, 
from a while ago. It's been a minute. And look, I have all the stuff that was needed to be fixed right up. So if something, you know, doesn't work in your game after batch fixing, you just come back to the original. You can either delete it, you can put it back in, wherever you want to go. However, one thing to know is that the Sims 4 Studio will go ahead and fix what's in your mods folder. So there's no need for you to be transferring over anything. Once it's completed, all the mods currently in your mods folder are batch fixed. So there's nothing you need to do at all. All right, so that goes with anything else you want to batch fix in your game. Like I said, you can go ahead and do your uh, cast items. You can go and do your lighting, your mirrors, things like that. You can go ahead and batch fix. So if you made this far in the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe to my channel. Join the random crew. Like I said, I have more tutorials on my channel. Make sure you guys comment down below if this helped you or not, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. This cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run is.